So I start with 5,000. I think the first thing I'm going to have to grab is immediately going to get the Elven Archer upgrade. Um, I'll even get it to level 3. Why not? And then this as well. That's that's clever. Um, yeah, Enable Healer Unit. The best unit in the game. Um, yeah, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wait patiently. I'm gonna need to level up the elves. I definitely think all three of the races should have their own music. I think that makes the most sense. Um, I mean, it's the same music for all three of them, but it would be cool if there was, like, a, a different, a different theme. Like, the human music could be, like, this music. The elf music could be, like, more of a melodic kind of, like... Like, if you imagine, like, what a pan flute sounds like. And then the orcs could have a lot more of, like, a... Uh, a <laughs> the orcs get heavy metal music, of course. <laughs> I mean, that's just something to think about, you know? Are these upgrades the same? They are. Okay. Well, I completely crushed that level. And so, basically, I've skipped to level 4. And if I do well on level 4, I'm probably going to skip to level... Uh, you know, I don't want to skip to level 6, because that's the orc level, and that level sucks. <laughs> I'll just do level 5 until I get decent upgrades, and then do level 7 or something. I just need to get these guys leveled up. So a certain watermelon told me with great confidence that the units that spawn from the enemy have nothing to do with anything that I spawn or anything that I do. Meaning that everything that happens that the enemy sends out is on a timer, basically. Which means that efficient, effective gameplay is the solution to beating some of these harder levels. I uh, Maybe it's a good thing because that means that it's more skill-based, but I liked the idea that as long as I didn't spawn expensive stuff, they wouldn't. But now I know that it, it really doesn't freaking matter. <laughs> I Yeah, this is going to be... This, this does change things a little bit. I think I'm going to... Overall, I think I'm going to play the game pretty much the same, but... Uh, it, it's it's worrying because in the later levels, the hard, hard, powerful units are probably going to come out quicker, faster, and stronger. So, you know, I, it, it's a bit of a, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. I'm not going to have the luxury of just sitting there with level two archers and and like getting nice mana boosts and getting the archer upgrades and whatnot like I'm doing right now. It come come level like 13, 14, and 15, those levels are going to be rough. <laughs> you know, those levels are going to suck. Also, ooh, Phantom Archers. I don't know what her probability of freezing a unit is. I guess that depends on the unit's resistance to freeze, right? So, 20% resistance means that there is an 80% chance that the Phantom Armor will freeze. Oh, four out of every five shots will freeze. Unless I have, like, a, a very, very horrible misunderstanding of how that works. Phantom Archers themselves have 90% resistance to freeze, which means... That if they got shot by 10 freeze arrows, only one of those would freeze them. Right, so, yeah. Crushed. Destroyed. All I need are archers. I need nothing else. <laughs> you know what, let's try it. Let's try chapter 6 with elves. Let's see how we do against orcs. Just with what I have right now. Let's give it a goo, shall we? So my archers and the orc archers are like polar opposites. Mine are more glass cannon-ish. Less health, more damage, and theirs are more beefy with more health but less damage. I obviously, if I have a high number of archers, I'm probably gonna slaughter them. But if I have lower numbers of archers, they're probably gonna slaughter me. Um, so I guess it's easier to snowball with the elves than it would be with humans, right? At least in the early game when I'm trying to get mana. I hope the fuck this goblin don't. I hope the hell you don't. Get that shit out of my sight. You see, these, these elf archers are, like, shredding. Like, it's only, like, a three damage difference, but it, damn it, it's so noticeable. Like, it really is. Cutting it pretty close here. These archers are doing a great job, but I, I'm i being a bit greedy. <laughs> I think I think I deserve to be a bit greedy, but, um, yeah, these archers, they do, they, do, they do show their difference pretty well, especially with the phantom archers. Look at that range. They got pretty much the same range that the wizard had. Probably a little bit less, honestly. But that freeze, I mean, look at that freeze. <laughs> that freeze is going to be the thing that really helps me. And, you know, obviously going up against totems, I'm going to get absolutely eviscerated. Unless I have a bunch of protectors protecting my phantom archers as they should. 
There's the totem. Jeez, look how much mana I have. You're late, totem. <laughs> I've already got everything I need to kick your ass. 506. Wait, they cost the same? I thought they cost... I mean, they do cost a little bit less. Not a lot less, but a little bit less. Oh my god, I'm, I, I'm hitting him. What? He lived, but what? I hit him? That's insane. I actually had the reach to get him for a moment there. He didn't die, though, of course, because he's a freaking broken, overpowered unit. Protectors! Protect my Phantom Archers! Shit, Protectors, if you can pave the way, this phantom, these Phantom Archers might actually be able to kill that totem. That totem's already injured. Let me see if I can pull up his stats. There's another totem. Eh, as, if it couldn't be, as if it wasn't bad enough, you add insult to injury by adding another fucking totem. So, the goblins, the Gobliones are not that annoying. They were a lot more annoying before because the Paladin's attack takes so damn long, but these Protectors just slash and dash super quick. Look at the slash and dash. Look, they just swing and then they're moving again. I've, oh, I'm almost back to that first totem. There's just one unit in front of them now, and I just tore it to shreds. Oh my god. <laughs> One totem down! Wow, this, this composition works surprisingly well. Protectors, when they're in a big old group like that, and they're just so fast. That's the thing, they are just so quick. They, they are shredding machines. And they, they held up pretty damn well. They even survived most of the damage. Most of them are still there. I don't even know if I saw any of them die. Oh my goodness. You get frozen, bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I think the elves are a lot better than humans. Jesus Christ. I didn't even use dryads. I don't even think I needed to use dryads. So I know what I'm going to use against the orcs from now on. Uh, yeah. Elves, hard counter, orcs. I guess that's no surprise. You know, in a challenge like this, it's really the little things that you got to appreciate. Like how protectors attack so fast. Never once took the time to appreciate that when I was just playing the game regularly, you know? was always just about how well can I aim my crossbow and how quickly until I can spawn the angels and dragons, you know? Now I don't have to worry about such such stupid concepts getting in my way and clouding my vision from the truly gratifying parts about this game, like how fast protectors attack. The thing with elves, right, is they don't really have that menacing troop, though. But humans have the uh, paladins that are menacing as fuck and... Orcs also have totems. You know, whenever I fight against humans or whenever I fight against orcs, I, like, get really worried about, you know, what am I going to do when I see those units, you know? Elves don't have any units that I, I, I particularly worry about. They have units that are strong, but they don't have any individual unit that comes out and just changes the game, you know? Because even a... Pro you can kill a protector if you just shoot at it enough. You just need enough archers to kill it. You know, and, and Phantom Archers are annoying, but, like, you just need a powerful melee unit to go up there and absorb some of that arrow fire. I mean, like, Paladins, for example, would, are pretty damn good counters to, to the Phantom Archers. So I think it's weird that Elves are arguably the best, uh, the best race that you can use in Epic War 2. Even though they don't really have anything in particular that makes them stand out as particularly good. It's just all of their units together are really really good i mean to take for example um phantom armors dryads and protectors all have those ice attacks and you know if i were if i was using the the crossbow <laughs> that's also a, a source of freeze so basically anything that's not really resistant to being frozen is gonna get frozen many many times over all right these dryads cost 420 well, that's pretty freaking pog it's actually really expensive. The wizard just cost 400. I remember that. He cost 400 just baseline stat. Dryad cost a little bit more. So I expect her to do a little bit more. Ooh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> they have ridiculous range. That range is insane. Not to mention very powerful freeze attack. That does a shit ton of damage. How much damage do these chicks do? 80? 80 damage per hit? I mean, Phantom Archers have 270, so... Yeah, you'd have to hit them a couple times to kill them. But, like, 80 damage per smack, and I'm smacking you multiple times? 
every every second or so. I mean, like it's you can see why I'm just kind of mowing the grass. Oh, and I can even hit their units behind their castle. Look at that. It passes. Wow, the Dryad's attack goes really far. Interestingly enough, I'm probably going to trigger the Revenge Wave before my Protectors can even get up there. But my Protectors are there just in case. This will be a lot more intense of a fight, though. Here it comes. Yeah, those bombs aren't going to do a whole lot. Okay, Protector v. Protector action. Let's see it. Let's see it. I like how the epic music was playing for, like, two seconds and then it stopped. <laughs> Second Revenge Wave triggered. All right, Protector's getting abused. Holy crap. There's a lot of them, though. Look how many there are. Damn! What you gonna, what you gonna do, man? <laughs> they got, they all got knocked back. The crowd control's too good. Hmm, this is a bit concerning. This is level 8, so, um... Yeah, I may have spawned too many archers, actually, because I... It looks like I might accidentally trigger a revenge wave. Will I be okay if I do that? Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. It's not good. I don't like this. Um. Uh oh. You know, they got a they got a nice little army coming towards me. Unfortunately, they're gonna run into a freaking barrage of ice and hell. Icy hell. Yeah, this is normally why you don't give like cleave damage, the ability to hit multiple units with one projectile. This is why you don't normally give it to ranged units, especially ranged units which is much with as much range as the Dryad. It's kind of insane. Oh my goodness, holy crap. <laughs> Alright, level 8, good luck. You can send out your little bomby bombs, but uh... Good luck. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Okay, I got a couple protectors. Not as many as last time, though. Oh my god, look at the damage on the castle. Wow! Bro, I turned that castle into Swiss cheese. Frozen Swiss cheese. Yogurt? Maybe. Alright! Got the elves up there. Humans are pretty damn good. Elves are pretty damn good. I think I'm ready to go in to take ugly men on. Last one, you're going down! You're going down, melon boy! Store All right, expecting six million totems. Totems, totems, totems. The bane of my life. But I start with 700 mana now, which is actually a lot. A lot of mana. I imagine eventually it's it's going to stop being that easy early game. But uh, for now, I mean, as long as it, they keep sending out a little, a little blob of units like this for their first little wave of units, I think I'm fine. Ooh, my dude intercepted that goblin. That was such a perfect interception. I was like, I saw that goblin coming, and I knew my archers weren't going to kill it. So I was like, yeah, I don't want that guy. I don't want that guy coming near me and get him out of my sight. I'll spawn one phantom archer. That should help me kill him. And of course she shoots. <laughs> of course, of all the things she could have hit with her freeze arrow, she hit a goblin. There we go. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. Ooh, this is going to be a bit of a greedy mana boost here. I might regret this one, but... Uh, I don't know. Phantom Archers are amazing. That's, that's all I have to say. Phantom Armors are... Phantom Archers are fantastic. Phantom Ar Armors, not so much. But Phantom Archers? Cream of the crop. See, if I was playing as humans and I was literally only using my Archers right now, because thankfully Elves have Archers and Phantom Archers... Um, this would be horrible. I'd probably be on the verge of death right now as I just desperately try to save up for wizards, but I don't have to worry about that, you know? I'm chilling. I'm chilling, and you know who else is chilling? All the enemy <laughs> units. They are, they are chilling. They are ice cold. Oh, those goblins are so annoying. Oh, those goblins are so annoying. Oh, those goblins are really pissing me off. Bruh, why the hell are they so small? Oop, I saw the explosion. I don't need to see the totem. I know he's there. Well, it's okay, totem. I got a little something something called a dryad with your name written all over it. <laughs> I got a lot of time before that totem gets to my side of the map. So right now, we'll just do some dryads. They'll shoot some powerful, <laughs> some powerful freeze attacks. All those goblins are about to die. All those goblins are dead. Totems aren't going to have anything in front of them anymore here in a minute. All this stuff's going to die. Look at that. All that totem's protection melting away. Oh, hello, totem. How are you today? Oh, no. I'm stunning him before he can attack. 
Get the fuck out of here! You piece of garbage! Gah! Okay, I knocked him over. Knocked him down a peg. Jesus, there's another one. Well, all right, whatever. Oh, here they, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes! Boo! <laughs> the totem has already got nothing in front of him. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Oh, hello, Totem. How are you today? You look really cool, Totem. Your design is super cool. Oh, my God. Yeah, Dryads are definitely the play. Holy crap. I'm a bit concerned. I'm going to trigger a Revenge Wave, and I don't really have a good front line set up. I'm going to spawn a bunch of Totems with this Revenge Wave, and they're all going to come out, and they're going to hit my Dryads before my Dryads can hit them. I see it coming. See? Wait, where's that Totem attacking? Okay, he's still shooting in front of the Dryads. If he walks even a little bit closer, he's going to get hit with the splash damage and die instantly. Oh, he needs to hurry up and do that if he is going to do that, though. Oh, my goodness. Oof, you are you guys are having fun? Said no one ever? Yeah, take some, take some swords to the face. You want to come up on my Dryads? You want to come up on me like that? Oh, God, they're coming up on me like that. Fucking totems. Oh, God, damn. Okay, well, all of the Beast Riders are dead. <laughs> and everything else is quickly falling behind. The dogs can't even move. They're just frozen in place. They're stun locked. Oh, wow, that's a lot. That is a lot. I'll give them that. That is a quite a valiant effort as I send them back to spawn. <laughs> that was that was amazing. If I had humans, that would have been such a different battle. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, here we are. I somehow made it to mission 10, and we're only going to go further. Will I be able to beat this game? <laughs> I don't know. Right now, I'm feeling pretty good, but the enemy has not started sending out angels or dragons or fuzzy lads yet. So, uh, yeah, you know, I I don't want to I don't want to toot my horn I don't want to toot my horn too soon, you know. <gasps> Can we talk about how the orcs castle design is literally just a giant pile of like shit? and mud cake together with skulls like stuck to the side of it every castle looks kind of civilized and then you have and then you have the pile of mud and shit <laughs> i mean i guess i'm not one to judge how another person lives their life i mean you're you're, you're welcome to live however you want I, you know it's a free country but um <laughs> yeah you got that shit poo, poo house I'm gonna do this a little bit different. Instead of upgrading my archers again, I'm actually gonna just try to go straight into the academy and get level one druid uh, dru dru druids. There we go. Now I just need 420 mana, and I should be, I should be pretty damn solid. There we go. Okay, I, I should be fine. My my greedy play may pun may have me punished, but I should be fine. I like how my dryad is now just barely walking onto the map. <laughs> The Dryad's like, I don't even need to spawn. I don't even need to spawn properly. I'll just kill everything anyway. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm still kind of on the fence here. Not the not the most sound defense ever, but these Dryads are cleaning everything up pretty, uh, pretty efficiently. Oh no, they've got my castle health below 1,000 health. Psych! Just kidding. <laughs> well, I can get the final upgrade for my uh, academy. So I got level 3 Dryads now, so, you know, if the level 2 Dryads weren't making the cut, then, you know, what can I say about the level 3 Dryads? You know, it doesn't sound great, all the Dryads getting launched. That doesn't sound great. And you know what does sound great? Watching totems get turned into ice cubes. What, I froze this one all the way back here? It kind of reminds me of the Sylph's attack from Epic War 4, where... It, even though the Sylph doesn't have enough range to hit the unit, if it hits a unit that's closer and the attack... The attack can pass through that unit and hit the units behind it. Like, oh my goodness. Oh! <laughs> that totem got ravaged. Hey, that's a naturally spawning beast rider. That's the first naturally spawning beast rider I've seen. Ooh, he's, he's, he's strong. I'll give him that. And it took me a while to freeze his ass, too. I mean, once he was frozen, it was game over. But also, is that the first trebuchet I've ever seen? The whole game is being revolutionized. <laughs> Enemies are stepping out of the Dark Age into the modern era. 
Come on, Dryads, attack this damn totem. Oh, poor totem, I feel bad to be you. Yeah, <laughs> oh god. Alright, I'll know the first revenge wave enters the fray. Oh, well, I didn't see any bombers, but uh, that's evidence if I've ever seen evidence. I need to keep spawning protectors. Protectors are a great buffer. That's a lot of beast, uh, beast riders. And only more are gonna spawn, yeah. I gotta make sure if that first wave of protectors die, there's another wave right behind them. And they, they might die, I don't know. They might not... I don't know. I, it doesn't actually look like I'm gonna kill this castle in time. I'm very close. Ooh, that is a shit talky ton of beast riders. That is a, that's a... You know, that's also a shit ton of dead beast riders. You, know, you really gotta... You really gotta think about it on the positive side of things, you know? That's a... That's a bunch of dead beast rider carcasses. And also a dead castle. Get the fuck out of here! Oh my god. <laughs> Those dryads just continued pelting until there was nothing left to pelt. Nice. Okay, chapter 11 looks like I'm gonna be fighting against... I don't remember if chapter 11 was the human one. It might be the human one. Chapter 12 is Fire the Orcs, so probably Orcs. Um, I do like that it splits up and it gives me the option to do either one or the other. That's always, that's actually a pretty cool thing that I don't think I've ever really talked about before. Nito, where are we? Billions of years ago, our world was a boiling pot of fire and water anyways. <laughs> Imagine the forest guardians like telling me, long ago, the world was a boiling pot of water and magma. And I'm just like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> don't like how this guy can just seemingly dodge the arrows. Please kill him. That's so unlucky. What the fuck? <laughs> that, that, that assassin just killed everything. And he was one arrow away from death, bro. I can see why they're called assassins. It's because they get on their hands and their knees and they just crawl up to my archers. And my archers just don't see them. It's because they look like dirt. They're green and they're brown. They look just like the dirt. That's, that's, clearly, the mo that's clearly the inspiration behind why they're called that. Okay, I am taking some heavy, heavy pressure, but I managed to get a Dryad, so... As long as I just don't die instantly, I should be able to eventually push these guys back. Interestingly, these Elf Archers are not resistant to ice at all, so... Yeah, these, these attacks are gonna kill them pretty quickly. Very nice. I've done really good this run with getting my mana up. I got so much mana. I don't know, the enemy elves seems to be a bit behind on the times. They just started sending out phantom archers. Like, bro, have you seen what I've been doing to your armies? You're gonna need a little bit more than phantom ar archers. Phantom archers kind of shrugging off the ice, though. And, I mean, it makes sense. Ooh, they got, like, one shot off. Yeah, these, these chicks can... These chicks are shrugging it off. Yeah, 90%. Yeah, damn, yeah, she's gonna... She's not gonna get frozen anytime soon. Well, enemy still hasn't spawned any dryads yet, and I've got everything maxed out and ready to go. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know what exactly they think they're doing, but, uh, yeah, good luck. Oh, I see a protector in there. I can see his long-ass horde. And on that note, I think it's time I start spawning my own protectors. Oh, here comes the first revenge wave. Are there any dryads in there? I don't see any blue staffs. Nor do I see any blasts of ice. Ooh, there's a red dragon. Red dragoon. Oh, wow, that's a... Oh, wait, no, I see one dryad coming from their side. All right, red dragon, I hope you're immune to being frozen. Okay, I'm going to start sending out squires. Squires are a little bit more cost-efficient than protectors, and I think that they're probably a lot better for the situation at hand. Uh, they better hurry up and get there, though. Can I kill this dragon? Please be frozen. Wait, the dragon froze me. What? All my protectors got turned frozen for a moment there. Oh my god, what happened? Wait, what? <laughs> Get that dragon out of my fucking sight. <laughs> I didn't even realize their castle was about to die. That whole time, the dryads were actually attacking the castle still. Chapter 13. Ooh, that's such a difficulty jump from 4 to 5. Oh boy. I remember playing Chapter 13. Those are definitely humans that I'm going to be up against. We're almost there. We are almost there. And surprisingly, it's only gotten easier the further along I go. Yeah, I remember when my starting mono was 200 and now it's 1500. Oh, how far we've come. We've evolved so much. We've learned so much. It's been a journey. 
And we have not even come close to the pinnacle yet. It seems like they send out the same units every single time. It's always two archers, four goblins, and one dude with a club. One fighter? Is that what they're called? Orc fighters? Yeah, that's it's the same every single time. They never send out more. It's always that. And I'm like super ready to fight that. I don't know. I, I just, I'm kind of, I'm realizing how repetitive it honestly is. Much more so than I initially thought it uh, it was. Also, I'm already, I'm already damn near 2,000 mana. This is nice. That one goblin. Please shoot him by mistake. Oh, that one goblin. This is the one slimy fucker that got through. I hate him so much. Oh, he makes me so mad. God damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right, now I got to get ready because here they come. Freeze. Well, or, or that. You can do that too. I told him to freeze and he was like, no, nah, I would rather explode. And you know what? I'm not... You know what? Maybe he won. Maybe maybe he's the winner of that argument. But honestly, it's okay to lose arguments every now and then. Oh, yeah. I mean, the speed in which I'm able to get my mana going is actually kind of nuts. I mean, I've already got four dryads, I think. Archer's pushing along. I'm already going to get to halfway to my max mana, you know. And they're, they're just still standing out ogres. Like, I'm very clearly capable of handling much harder levels than this. Um, which makes me hopeful for the future. <laughs> Wait, why are they sending bombers right now? Okay. Alrighty, you want me to react to your bombers play? That's so random. What? I don't remember this being a thing when I played through this game before. I mean, it's been two years, but I, I probably would remember random-ass bombers. <laughs> oh my lord, Jesus Christ. That was, that's just violent. That totem's still alive? No, okay. Their, their never-ending supply of health never ceases to astonish me. Also, I'm going to trigger this revenge wave here. It's probably going to be fine. It's not how I would have wanted it. I would have preferred to have a lot more units on the field, but... You know, I'm probably going to be fine. God damn it, orcs. Try harder. Fuck, you're making this too easy for my freaking units, and I'm suffering for it now. I'm going to start sending in squires, just in case they get any big ideas, and they try to send out another freaking dragoon. Wow! It's like I can freaking read, it's like I can tell the future or something. Okay, well here we go. Literally nothing stopping these wolf things from killing my dryads. Oh, crap. Yeah, fuck. See, this isn't really how I wanted it to go. I wanted... See, I needed the protector. <laughs> it's okay, I've got plenty of backup. Come on, dryads, do as much damage as you can before you die. Just kill all the wolves. Kill the wolves, the ones, the dryads behind you will kill the dragon, it'll be okay. Stupid red dragon and his massive health pool. Seriously, he has way too much health. Oh, he resists 50% magic attacks. No wonder he's taking such a beating from my dryads. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, um, sorry, totems. <laughs> Your luck's about to run out. Does the epic music happen whenever... Oh, crap. Dryads, please. Okay, thank God the dryads are badass. Does the epic music cue when there's more than 50 units on, on the screen at once? I think that's what triggers it. Oh, that poor dog. Oh, that poor, poor dog. Oh, that poor totem. <laughs> he couldn't even die properly because he was just frozen. It was like I put an epic war four time stop on his ass. He was just an ice cube. He, his soul had already long since left the, the body, and he was just stuck there perpetually in pain and agony. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's, that's not what you want to see. Honestly, better to see him than to see the fucking angel. Angel Knight's terrifying. This guy is moderately scary. Fortunately, he's not the... the oh, crap. Sorry, phantom armors. Or archers, get up. Yikes. Gotta wipe this guy off the place, the face of the earth. Funny enough, the protectors are screwing me over because this guy's getting free cheap shots off on my back line. Die, protectors, fuck. That one got back up? Protector, I hate you. Die? <laughs> no. All these dryads are about to get launched. Thanks, protector. Thanks. 
It's okay, the flame devil got got freaking eradicated. I extinguished the flames, lol. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, these dryads are fucking nuts! <laughs> Dude, these dryads do not play games! This, they take this shit very seriously. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they take it very seriously. Dryads are like, you think we're fucking around? You think this is a game? You and your freaking shit mud castle house? Yeah, tear it to the ground. <laughs> oh my god. The orc races joined my fight. I don't think I'm gonna need them, honestly. I mean, if I end up if I end up struggling with like the final the final bosses, I'm gonna have probably try to level up the orcs to see if they can help me. But honestly, what can't the dryads kill? It's my counter argument. All right, first time fighting humans in like six years, and you know for a fact that these humans are gonna spawn an, an angel. So I'm not gonna spawn any melee units. I'm literally only going to spawn dryads. I'm not going to spawn protectors or anything, because if that angel gets even one attack off, my whole army is going to go freaking flying. How am I already at 2600? What? Well, since I have so much mana, I'm actually just going to get archery level 3 now, so that my initial spawn, my initial archers can put in a little bit more work so I can save up and get the next mana boost, because I am going to have to save up for a little while here. Yeah, and the humans don't have any any units that can slide and hide underneath my freaking archer's arrow fire. The elves had the assassin, which could just slip on under, but these they have the humans have the knight, which is just a sl ooh. What the fuck is that guy doing here? You're not welcome here. Do as much damage to it as you can before he obliterates you. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, let's be reactionary. Let's not be dumb. God, he has 75% resistance to all. It's so freaking dumb. It's okay, I'll kill him eventually. He can't... He's not gonna be able to eat this range damage forever. What the hell? Why did they send a paladin so fast? I ain't even seen no wizards or nothing yet. You just go straight for the paladin? Makes sense. I killed it, it doesn't matter. It's a nice group of archers you got. There would be a shame if they all... Got turned into ice cubes and then turned into smaller ice cubes as I destroy them. Okay, that paladin was terrifying. I, I am impressed with how well I handled it. But it was still terrifying nonetheless. Again, I'm a bit worried I might accidentally trigger a revenge wave. If I trigger a revenge wave early and an angel comes out and I don't have enough dryads to just kill it instantly, then I'm in a world of uh-oh. I, I may have overdone it here. I mean, I'm going to be at night. I'm at max mana now, but, like, I'm not upgraded. <laughs> please, kill my units, please. No, Dryad, stop being so good. Fuck, dude. Okay, fuck it. I'm just going to upgrade. I'm literally just going to upgrade Dryads to level 5. I'm not even going to entertain any other unit. Uh, I'd say I misplayed this, but I, I think it's hard to see this coming. Okay, I'm going to take this time to finish upgrading my, my last two buildings. I know it's going to be expensive upgrading them. I know, I know, but I need to do it. Okay, a paladin, thank god. I don't even think the paladin's going to be able to stop me. I can't see his health because the game is dumb. Ouch! Stop it. Ouch! Okay, I mean, I kind of wanted this, so I'm not that upset. Though I am a little bit disturbed by how many dried blasts it took to kill that guy. You know, I was watching Sammy do some of his speedruns, and I, I, you know, my argument... I noticed that Sammy did spawn a lot of Dryads, but the, my counter argument is why would you spawn anything that's not a Dryad? You know, maybe that's the secret solution. Just spawn nothing but Dryads. I mean, it'll work. It's working for me. It'll probably work for you. Just some food for thought. I noticed that you you commented on my last video. I'm glad you're a fan. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just spawn Dryads. You don't. You literally don't need anything else. You literally... No angel unit is ever going to make it. No unit is going to make it. You can send a dragon. You can send a fuzzy lad. You can send whoever you want to come and stop me now. But I would love to see you even try to stop me now at this point. I, I would love to see you attempt to stop me. I... I... It's too... I have too much. It's too much. Send out your angel. There it is. I knew it was coming. Bring it on! Oh, wait, no, that angel's being protected. Oh, 
Okay. Hey, those paladins are schmoving. I got that momentum. Okay. Well, can I get the... Can I get some? Okay. Oh, uh, great. Andy's resistant to fucking angel units, man. That's insane. For <laughs> this... His angel unit better, uh... Um, his angel unit better count his days, though. Oh. Okay. Well, they all managed to attack before they got launched. That's all that matters. Oh, they're all gonna die, though. Kill the angel. Literally, that's all you have to do before you die is kill this angel. Yikes. I've lost so many. <laughs> but the angels lost so much as well. Oh, shit, my castle. The angel's just gonna kill my castle from afar. One more blast, one more volley. They're dead. She's dead, she's dead, she's dead. I got 249 castle health. I gotta upgrade immediately. Come on, dryads. Push them back. Push them all the way back. Siege weapons, get the fuck out of my sight. Oh my god. Okay, special ability. Hell yeah. Drop rocks on their face. You know what? I didn't stop and consider the possibility that the angel would have an entourage protecting her. For some reason, that just didn't cross my mind. Well, that was scary. <laughs> But I did it. I, I don't know how I did it. Literally, the Dryads were able to attack before they got launched again, and that's all that mattered. Fucking Paladin. I killed all those Paladins, too. Every single one of those Paladins got absolutely slaughtered. I even froze one of them. Oh, no, this is great. This is lovely. See? This is what I call success. That is success. This many Dryads explains exactly why those Paladins weren't able to get very far. <laughs> that paladin got shredded. That paladin got turned into a freaking... It got turned into a dart board. Okay, here we go. Angel? Or is it just paladins? Okay, I'm gonna time the swords. I think I timed the swords. It should go right... Ooh, okay, the timing was a little off. I could probably get more value out of the swords. Come on, paladins, bring it on! <laughs> bring it on! I love splash damage. Oh, shit. They're actually kind of getting through. Die, you fuckers. Ah! No! No, not my first wave of dryads. But did you consider the second wave of dryads? Wow, they have a lot of paladins. <laughs> that is a shit ton of paladins. Last one's going to be sitting there like, I wonder what amazing strategy Shade's going to come up with. Because he even told me in DMs. Last one said, good luck with level 13. You're going to struggle with that one. I wonder what Laslin was was expecting me to was expecting me to do. I wonder what, what I bet you he's sitting there thinking of all the strategies I could employ. He's like he's probably going to figure out some really complicated way to stall the angel out so that he can kill it without it ever attacking. He like he has these high hopes for me and my amazing strategies and he's just watching the video right now like really really you just spam dryads that's it literally dryads literally just dryads. And I'm, I'm it's the correct play? <laughs> Tell me any other combination of units would have gotten me that W. Come here, dragon. Come here. 4,000, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000. Eh, he didn't even get to attack. Wait, what? All right, well, that's just bullshit. <laughs> His health was zero before he attacked. Whatever, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. He killed so many Dryads by doing that as well. What the hell? Okay, well, I'm going to spawn some Protectors. Okay, hold on. Time it, time it, time it. It should hit them. Nice. It's a lot of pa Paladins, but I am sending out a, a lot of Protectors. Man, level 13 is a bitch. I did not... I don't remember this level being this hard. This, this level is, like, actually challenging. Ooh, yeah. Paladins do not like Protectors at all. Yeah, Protectors is the play there. Yeah, fuck your paladins. Get frozen. Get sent back to spawn. I actually sent him back to his spawn. Yeah. That paladin cannot catch a break. Every time he tries to go up, come up and do something, I just send him back. Go back. See, I attack him faster than he can attack me. Oh, jeez. Ouch. That was a big spear to my face. Hurt my feelings more than anything, but... Okay, I'm finally going to kill this castle. God, finally, dude. Level 13. You annoying. 
Christ. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Very frosty. And then Hell's Gate, Battle by the Skull Bridge. Okay, so this is the frog. This is the frog, this is the end, and this is the Lord of Hell. God damn, we are we are coming into the end game now, folks. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous. Angel unit, scary. I was I was honestly lucky to kill her in time. Like, I was actually kinda I'm glad I, I built up so much in preparation for her because she did not disappoint. <laughs> She's powerful. Uh, the human faction was a mess, so am I. It's okay. And they still send out the same the same old shit. It's just two archers and two melee units. If it was orcs, it would be four goblins, two archers, and a orc, orc beater, brute dude, wife beater, orc guy. All right, turret crossbow. Get it. Go look at. Go look in the corner. Go stand in the corner and shame. You know, Sammy left a comment on my on my last on my part one to this saying, there, "There's crazy, there's masochistic, and there's stupid." So basically, he called me stupid for even attempting this. Now, well, maybe Sammy, maybe maybe you just have a skill issue. Maybe everybody has a skill issue. Cause I'm doing fine. You know, I'm doing great. In fact, and you doubted me. People doubted me. But here I am. I'm being too cocky. I'm gonna I'm gonna get destroyed <laughs> in the late game, and I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna be sitting there like, I hope everyone forgives me for being a dick. <laughs> oh wait, there's a protector in there. He was hiding. You slippery booger, you. Okay, the solution to killing protectors is to use melee units and slow him down so that my archers can pick him off. He attacks fast, but as long as I keep spawning these little melee fuckers, he should be... He should die eventually. Yikes, bro. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. Let's talk about this, bro. Oh, well. He should have He should have listened to me when I was being reasonable. I fear I may have spawned too much, but... I don't know. If, if somehow this army makes it all the way across and triggers starts triggering revenge waves, I'm going to be a little upset about that. But for now, I'm just going to leave it alone and upgrade my mana. Man, it sure would be really interesting if Epic War decided to make a game where you could actually control which direction your units are running in. I mean, I know it's a bit of a crazy idea on paper, but I think conceptually it's actually quite brilliant. Give, you know, you you control over your units. I don't know, it seems a little unfun sometimes when all they do is just run to the right. Even if I don't want them to, you know? It's just a thought, Art Logic games, if you're if you're in the if you're in the business of making a another Epic War game. I, I, I don't want this protector to have a lot of health. I can't see his health. Uh, I cannot get the next mana boost right now. I gotta take this seriously. This is an Avengers level threat. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Max mana, baby. I feel really bad for all of the elves that are about to be on the receiving end of this freaking army of dryads I'm fixing to spawn after I max them out. Well, I got a couple of dryads, at least. By a couple, I mean a lot. I have a lot of dryads. Okay, I'm expecting an angel to come out of this revenge wave. If it doesn't, then these elves are screwed. But even still, I have a lot of dryads. I'm pretty sure I'll kill these angels fast. Protectors aren't as sustainable as paladins, so I'm going to be able to burst through that, that front layer of protection and start hitting that angel even sooner. If that is what happens, if they send out an angel with protectors in front of it, those protectors will not be able to hold up. Not against this. This is way too much. I mean, look at this. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is crazy. Black dragon. Fuck. Am I worried about that? 
12,000 health. I'm a little worried about that. I gotta wipe out these things in front. Hit that. I should definitely hit him right in the face with the sword. I always mistime the swords. Fuck, he's gonna attack. That's a big group of dryads he's about to kill. Oh, those dryads were so young. They didn't deserve that. That's a lot of dryads that just died. Yikes. And I can't even attack him when he's in attack animation. Jesus. He's less than 4,000. He's only halfway across the map. There's like this weird visual glitch that appears at the halfway point of the map. Oh my god, the little red dragon's getting in front. That's so annoying. Get back, red dragon fucker. I need to kill the black one. I'll save you for later. Get out of the way. Fuck. Black dragon is so close to dying, please. Get this red dra Those dryads just went to hell. Those dryads went to the moon. It's just gonna be close. Okay, come on, come on. Oh god, stop it. Just stop. Just die. Oh my god, that's too close for comfort. Jesus Christ, that was not fun. Okay. <laughs> well, that was anything but fun. <laughs> oh, now I'm really building up a nest egg of dry. That first black dragon shot did so much damage. It killed so many dryads. Like, it had to have killed at least 50 dryads. Like, well over 10,000 mana worth of dryads got wiped. All right, castle, this is where you meet your demise. You gonna send out another black dragon? I killed the first one just fine. I'll probably kill the second one just fine as well. You're gonna need a, you're gonna need a titan unit if you wanna have any chance at defeating this. Okay, I guess that counts. Let me see if I can finally time this correctly. Wait for him, wait for it. Never mind. I don't even need to wait for it. I can hit the dragon with the swords. The sword should land right under the dragon. Yeah. Hell yeah. Also, my goodness, look at all the dryads. Oh, <laughs> that poor dragon. <laughs> God. Get this castle out of my freaking sight, dude. Disgusting. Whew. Gosh, dang. Do I have enough? I do. Hey. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. I got every upgrade in the game, obviously. All right, and there's just one more level, and then the three boss levels, but I'm going to save that for the next episode. That's right, I'm going to make this a three-part series, because goddamn, this is one hell of a challenge. You have seen me struggle. You have seen me triumph. But will you see me victorious, or will you see me defeated? Who can say? At this point, I'm surprised I haven't died at all in those last couple of levels. I really thought that black dragon, red dragon combo was going to wipe me out, but I, I came back from it. I, I recovered. But how am I going to recover from the end when that guy decides to spawn? What then will I do? You'll have to stay tuned for next episode. This has been Shapes99, and I'll see you there. Goodbye, everybody.